Good afternoon, everyone. It's such a pleasure to welcome you to the Women's Fund Miami Dade's inaugural Mujeres Giving Back. Today, we are here to celebrate the philanthropic impact of Hispanic women in Miami Dade County who give right here, right here at home, to make our community better. We are here to honor 10 outstanding women. They are here to show us that in words, Hispanics, and philanthropy do belong together. We will begin with the winners of our Holden Giving Back category. Please welcome our first honoree, Isabel C. Diaz. Um, I just wanted to take a few seconds to thank the Women's Fund for this amazing honor. I'm extremely humbled and honored with this award. Thank you to my friend Yara Lorenzo for nominating me for the award and more importantly for correlating me with this special distinction and with this amazing organization. I'd also like to thank my supervisor boss, FIU's general counsel, Christina Radema, for making it a priority to be here today. It really means a lot to me. My, my sister is also here with me today and I want to thank her for not only being present on such a special day, but also for always being my role model in all that I do. I also want to thank my husband Ernie for all his support in all the community service projects I engage in, including driving me all around town to visit my guardian ad litem kids so I don't have to make the drive by myself and waking up with me at 3 in the morning, three times now, to set up and prepare for a 5K when neither of us had actually ever attended or ran a 5K. But it was for an amazing cause. Last of all, I'd like to thank my parents, who not only have provided me, sorry, nervous, provided me and continue to provide me with unconditional support in everything I do, but more importantly, taught me about service and about giving back to our community. From a very young age, my parents exposed me to all different types of philanthropic, uh, philanthropic activities, whether it was getting in the car, the four of us, my parents, my sister and I, to take food to the homeless at Camilla's house, or visiting nursing homes during the holidays, to sing Christmas carols to the elderly. They taught me that the more you give, the more you receive. Because of them, I now not only choose to give back to the community, but giving back to the community is a part of who I am. It fills my soul with energy and with a type of happiness that only the action of giving back can give a human being. Thanks again for this honor and God bless. My second poem giving back, Christy Nunez. First and foremost, thank you for such an honor. I am particularly humbled and excited because I was selected among such an amazing group of women. But today is particularly exciting for me because I actually get to dedicate this to another amazing woman who actually planted that philanthropic seed in me. I dedicate this to my hero, my mother. It was she who taught me what it meant to love, give back, and do so simply because it was the right thing to do. She taught me what it meant to have courage and strength, so much so that being in the midst of her battle with cancer, she still gathered the strength to be here for me today. Woo! It was my mom who created my first philanthropic memory when I was about five or six years old as we were driving running errands. I remember we pulled into a parking lot and there was a homeless couple sleeping in their car. My mom did not hesitate, stepped out, knocked on their door, and asked them what was wrong. She stayed there for 30 minutes or so, crying with them, talking with them, fed them, and gave them money. For the next week or so, we returned every single night with food and money. As a five-year-old, one of those nights I was annoyed and said, Mom, why do we have to go back? And her response was simple. She said, Christy, Whenever you cross someone's path who is less fortunate or in need, never turn your back. Look at them with godly eyes and think of them as though they were an angel in disguise testing your nature, your heart, and your spirit. What would you do then? I have never forgotten those words or what that moment meant for me. She has never let me forget by repeatedly showing me through her actions. So five years ago, when I told her that I wanted to start a program for inner city children, I wanted them to stay out of trouble because I was simply tired of locking them up as a prosecutor. She's the only one that didn't question me and said, 
what do I need to do? And true to her motherly nature said, what are we gonna feed those kids? <laughs> so, when asked to address why philanthropy, why give back, that is why. She is why. Mom, I dedicate this to you. I love you and thank you. Our next category is Mujer Giving Back Time. Please welcome our first honoree, Lourdes Castillo de la Peña. First of all, I'd like to thank the board and the staff for the Women's Fund of Miami-Dade County. These organization, what you're doing for this community and the organizations that you're supporting, organizations like Casa Valentina, who's dear to me, it's amazing and it's Miami-Dade County owes you a lot of gratitude for your work and effort. I also want to let you all know I'm very honored to be here today with these excellent group of women receiving this award. I am humbled. Um, I am a mother of four so I was taken back when they asked me to, that I was receiving this award. I thought, wow, um, I didn't realize moms get this a kind of award. <laughs> But the reality is that I was commissioner for the state of Florida on the status of women. And as commissioner, I ran throughout the state. I met a lot of women from all different walks of life. I met uh, CEOs. I met women who ran their own business, which by the way, the state of Florida is ranked fourth in the nation for women-owned businesses. I also met many mothers, wives, widows, secretaries, cashiers. I even met many homeless women. And I met many homeless girls. And that's what led me to create the mentoring task force within the commission. I felt that women leaders, such as all of you here, who by the way, I congratulate you all because with your busy schedules of running business, running families, finances, taking your time to come here and support this cause, it's amazing. So to me, you all are women giving back, and I applaud you all for your effort of being here. <laughs> On the commission, uh, the mentoring task force to me was a gift from God. You know, the ability to be able to mentor youth, the ability to sit down with a girl who has aged out of the foster care program and is roaming the streets and doesn't know where she's gonna sleep one night if she decides not to go to Casa Valentina. It's really something heartwarming to know that these girls have never had any kind of mentor in their life to provide them with some kind of guidance. I have four children, three are daughter, three of them are girls. They're lucky enough to have a home, to have a mother that sits down with them, tells them, guides them, kind of gives them some kind of guidance of what to do. My oldest daughter created an organization called Fit Kids Day, which basically provides funding and provides um, physical activities for underprivileged children in our community. My second is on the way, and my third, who's nine years old, is always telling me, what can I do, mommy, what can I do? You know, this is wonderful, but there's a lot of girls out there that need mentors. I urge you all, when you go home today, whether it's your daughter, it's your daughter's friend, it's your neighbor's daughter, is a colleague of yours daughter, sit down with them, talk to them, guide them, kind of make their path easier in life so that one day they can be standing here and being a woman given back. Thank you. Please welcome our second Mujer Giving Back time, Honoree Maria Figueroa Bird. Maria, come on down. Good afternoon. I am honored to be receiving this award tonight, and thank you to the Women's Fund. <laughs> um, I came to the United States in 1987, and as soon as I got the opportunity and I was able to, I decided it was good for me to give back time to this community who was now my home. I have been a member of Junior League of Miami for 13 years, I am, and I am now the 88th president and only the third Hispanic to lead this organization. <laughs> The Junior League of Miami has a history of developing women to be leaders in this community. We are 1,000 strong, have a $500,000 budget, and everything we do is through volunteers. I am a president for one year, and there will be somebody coming after me. During this time, 
as I mentioned, we help women learn how to run a not-for-profit and we also have many women that have left the Junior League, are still members, but go on to run not-for-profits in the community. I am proud to be part of Junior League of Miami. Our goal is to develop women, to help the community, and I am honored to be receiving this award today. Thank you. Our next category is Mujer Giving Back Talent. Welcome our first honoree, Jocelyn Cortez Young. I would like to say thank you um, for everyone that has nominated me for the process to the judges. Where are the judges? <laughs> thank you for, for actually recognizing hard work. Um, one of the things I do is I, I run a, um, an investment firm that focuses on Latin America. It is until today, I think the only women-run fund, and it's run out of Miami. Um, so yes, something for you guys to be proud of. And the most important thing uh, is to, I would say, consider two things. One is, it's great to recognize talent when it's there, and the fact that our community has a process to be able to recognize that talent is really how we're gonna help our existing generation and the generations going forward. Um, and the other question on an upward um, beat is, I would say, you know, it's important to consider two things when you're in a process of being the only one. One is preparation. Make sure you're always prepared. Preparation is key. They say success is equal to when preparation uh, is meeting the opportunity, right? You see the opportunity. If you're prepared, you will succeed and you need to believe that, and you need to understand that. And the second thing I would say and I would share with you, which is something that I have always thought about, is you know, you cannot compare or you cannot control the deck of cards that you are given. Those we cannot control. We're given those deck of cards. But it is up to us as to how we shuffle them. Thank you. Uh, Congresswoman Ileana Ross Lenton is our second Mujer Giving Back Talent honoree. Unfortunately, she was called back to Washington for a vote, so she's not here today. Uh, but we, she's recorded a short video, so let's watch. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton, and I'm honored to be the recipient of the Mujeres Giving Back Talent Award. Unfortunately, due to last minute changes to the congressional calendar, I'm here in Washington, D.C., and I'm unable to attend this wonderful luncheon. I'd like to thank the Women's Fund of Miami-Dade for putting together this historic event to highlight the importance of Latinas as a philanthropic force in our vibrant and diverse South Florida community. As the first Hispanic woman elected to Congress, I recognize the influential role that women make every day to better our community. The Women's Fund of Miami-Dade proves that. With their guidance, they encourage young women to achieve their full economic potential by developing strong skills, building leadership, and forming goals for their success. These young women are the future of philanthropy for Miami-Dade County and indeed for all of our nation. I appreciate and admire the profound impact that you make for our residents to promote a sense of giving back and a legacy of community engagement. Muchas gracias, thank you. Now our next category, Mujer Giving Back Treasure. Please welcome our first honoree, Lilian Lopez. Thank you so very much to the Women's Fund. You all do a fantastic, fantastic job. I've, I've been, to, been to many of your events and I, I know the great job that you all do. I'd like to thank the Board of Directors, the committee, my good friend, the Honorable Mina Sanchez Llorens for, for nominating me. Thank you so much. My friends here today who are supporting me. My husband, what's up with me? Thank you so much. When they asked about why philanthropy, why giving back, I remember when we started the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce back 20 years ago, I immediately thought, but well, we need to do something to give back, and we created a foundation. Being the daughter of teachers, educators, my mom was a teacher, my grandmother was a teacher, my great-grandfather, my aunts, my uncles, everybody were teachers. So you know when you have teachers in the family, what was the rule every day? 
I had to play piano, of course, to finish my piano. My mother called me every day, Lilian Margarita. That's my middle name, by the way. Siéntate, que te voy a enseñar las estrujulas. Lámpara, pájaro, so all those words. So, I, so you know how people are when they're educators. So I immediately thought, you know what? We need to give back. We need to do a foundation for education. And for the last 20 years, we've granted over $500,000 in scholarships. We have an education. Thank you, an education enhancement program where we take low-income Hispanic students on a pay trip. We've done that for 10 years. We served over 60 students. They get to travel. We've done Seattle, Boeing. It's been great. Everett Factory. We've been to D.C. We visited with Congresswoman Ross Lehtinen. We've done Philly, Washington, Chicago. You name it, we're there. But that's just to give back and help our children. We also help. Um, financially disadvantaged families, children of Centro Mata, and the list goes on and on, and I know it's 90 seconds. I passed my time. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, the clock is ticking. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless. And now, please welcome our second Mujer Giving Back Treasure honoree, Marile Lopez. Good afternoon. Well, thank you, Mayor, for that kind introduction. I'm here this afternoon and I am humbled by this recognition and I am honored to be a recipient amongst these great women who have also been here this afternoon receiving this um, significant award and I've admired you all for many years so I am humbled to be in your company. I want to recognize my daughter Saramelia who joins me this afternoon and I also want to recognize my mother Maria Elena who also joined me this afternoon. She has taught me by example that family is always one's priority and that my Catholic faith is my foundation. I would like to thank all my friends that are here joining me this afternoon. Thank you, Yvonne, Aldi, Yuri, Alex, Maria, and Gloria, and so many others that are all here. Every time I call you, you always say yes, so thank you. But I wouldn't be here today accepting this award for philanthropy if it wasn't for the most important and special person in my life, my husband, Jorge Luis. He is my inspiration. He is a mentor to many of us in our community, a strong advocate for over 25 years, and a devoted father and husband. And he's not here this afternoon with me because he is in Atlanta serving on the National Board of the American Cancer Society, which we are very attached to, we give back, and it is one of the charities of our choice. For Jorge Luis and I, um, philanthropy is not about leaving a legacy. Philanthropy is about it being the way of life. Philanthropy is about doing it now. It's not about doing it tomorrow. It's about encouraging our children, our five children, who honestly are seeing by example that which I saw from my parents and my in-laws that you you give to your community and you see the results that are amongst us today charities like American Cancer Society American Red Cross Boys and Girls Club Miami Children Catholic um, Charities which are some of the organizations that we support and uh, you see how they prosper and how they help others. And that is really our goal. And I have something small to, to read. It says, who is my hero? My hero is my mom because she inspires me to be a good person and citizen in my life and community. Also, my mom is my hero because she helps Miami Children's Hospital by giving money to those who can't afford to pay for doctor's appointments or surgeries. And that shows me that I want to be and do the same thing. Last, my mom is my hero because she's a good person and loves me very much. All in all, that is where my mom is my hero. Or really, she's my hero and she's my daughter, Sara <laughs> And they inspire us to continue. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Last category for credit giving back talent, time, and treasure. Uh, I'm sorry to say that is Lilian Machado, but Lilian has had a death in the family, and so she cannot be with us today. 
So we'll continue on with our next uh, awardee. Our second and last but not least, Mujer Giving Back, Time, Talent, and Treasure, our honoree, Roime Membiela. Buenas tardes a todos, good afternoon. It's a uh, distinct honor. Uh, I'm very humbled to be here in the company of so many amazing women who do so much for our community. Uh, I think one uh, thing defines giving back, and that is realizing that we received a lot more from giving back than from ever getting. And that's something that I learned uh, from my family. So today I want to thank my father and my mother for teaching me that. I also want to thank the fact that I work for a great organization, Baptist Health South Florida. Brian Keeley, my boss, is here. I'm very honored to do that. It's an organization that encourages the 15,000 plus employees to give back every day. We are allowed the time to contribute to the community, and that's a special privilege. So I thank you, uh, Brian, for the opportunity. Uh, and most importantly, I thank the Women's Fund for everything that the organization does for so many women, um, for this honor that so many of us have received today. Thank you very much. So let's give a round of applause to all our wonderful women. 